What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh with The Rights Woodworks and today I'm gonna show you guys how to install your water chiller to your CO2 laser. Let's get started. Okay, so we're at the back of the machine now, pushed away from the wall. You have the back of the chiller over here, you have the back of the laser. Um, your water and outlet inlets are right here for the laser. Your water inlet and outlet from the chiller is back over there. Um, now we're just going to connect the tubes. Okay, so we're at the back of the machine now. We're going to hook up the first tube. Um, we got limited uh, space back here in the back of the machine um, without moving the rest of the stuff in the shop. So this is all we got. So sorry about the camera angle here. So if you look down at the chiller, this is the back of the CW5200 from OM Tech. You have your inlet and outlet. On your CO2 laser, this is the OM Tech 24 by 40 100 watt. You have your inlet, and below that is the outlet. So to connect this correctly, you're going to go from outlet, out of the laser uh, chiller, outlet to the inlet, which is the top one of the laser. Okay, it's very important. You don't want to get the flow incorrect. The next one, you're going to take it from the inlet of the chiller, slide that on there, to the outlet of the laser. You have to think of the flow, and it gets kind of confusing, and this is a, a number one problem that people have connecting these. It's coming out of the chiller, water's pumping out of the outlet to the inlet of the laser. It goes through your laser tube, out of the laser, back to the inlet of the chiller. I know it gets confusing, but you'd be surprised how many people reverse these and then they have the water flow going backwards. Um, so that's the number one problem of issues. Okay, so now that we got our hoses hooked up correctly, we need to secure these hoses to the outlet ports of the chiller and also the laser. This is a classic example of do as I say, not as I do. Um, I went to my local store and they didn't have any hose clamps the size I needed. So today, since I need to get some projects done today uh, for pickup tonight, I'm gonna zip tie them. It's better to have hose clamps that you could tighten down, but this is all we got for now, okay? I've actually in the past have had all these zip tied and never had a problem, but I would suggest you use hose clamps because that's the right thing to do. But since we are in a pickle here, we're just gonna tighten them up with the zip ties here, cut them off, and be good to go. You're gonna do the same for the laser parts as well. Okay, now that we got everything secure, just to go over one more time, outlet, which is marked on the chiller, to the inlet on the laser, outlet on the laser, to inlet on the chiller. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill it up with water and get her going. Okay, to fill the chiller, we're going to undo the, the cap here. I'm going to put a little funnel in because it makes it a lot easier. We're just going to fill it up. Now, I do have some water already in here. Um, I've actually had it hooked up before. I just had a leak in the, a little pinhole leak in the tube. So that's why we are seeing where we're at here. It's almost full. We did lose some water undoing the original tubes and also uh, from the leak. So that should be good there. All right guys, I just wanna show you a quick trick real quick that I use. I filled it up a little bit into the full range just because these tubes we installed are brand new and not filled with water. Normally they'd be full of water. Um, we lost a little bit of water when we replaced the tubes. Um, so we're going to bring it up a little bit past the normal mark into the full a little bit because when these tubes fill up, 
it's going to go, the water level is going to lower just a little bit, probably right into the right place where we want it. So that's what I do. All right, one little trick I use as well is I always put a little bit extra tubing because with the setup I have here, it's right against the wall. I got a lot of equipment on this wall. I need to be able to pull things out. And this is helpful to be able to have the extra tubing to pull things out and work on the chiller, refill it and stuff like that. Since I do store it under a table um, on this surface right where it's right here in the middle. So extra tubing is always nice to have. Okay, we got everything plugged back in, got the chiller back up on where it's normally sits. I'm gonna turn it on, see if we can get some flow going. Get those lines recharged. Gonna let it go for a little bit. There's gonna be quite a bit of air in the whole setup just because of all the air that was in the line. So it's gonna push through those and get her back regulated. Okay, we're back behind the laser again. Last thing you wanna check is you just wanna run your fingers around, make sure you have no leaks, any visible leaks. Nothing on the chiller, can't feel any water, no leaks on the table there. All right guys, we got the laser pushed back in place, got the chiller running, no leaks. We're good to go.